Hello, it's Grandma again. Are you ready for another one of Grandma's story times? I've got another dreaming story. Would you like to know? This one is called How the Kangaroos Got Their Tails. Put on your glasses, Grandma. It's time for a story. Woo! Got them. Let's go. How the Kangaroos Got Their Tails. This story was told by George Mung Mung Limiyari and she's put it together, Pamela Lofts, and she's done the paintings to match. It's really important that Aboriginal languages all around Australia are kept. I'm going to tell you a story about how the kangaroos got their tails. In the early days, in the dream time, there were two kangaroos who lived in this country. One came from up in the hills and the other one from the plains. The plains kangaroo was a big kangaroo with long arms and long legs. The hill kangaroo was a small kangaroo with short arms and short legs. One day, the short-armed kangaroo was walking around hunting for sugar bag. That's wild bush honey. Mm -mm. You can find sugar bag by watching the bees and following them. Follow them to their hive where they make the honey. Can you see some bees near that tree? We'd better go over there. He really liked sugar bag, that short armed kangaroo. So he kept on looking and looking until he found some in a hole in a rock. He reached just inside that hole and pulled out a handful of sugar bag and ate it. Mmm, it was good tucker. <laughs> He's got a smile on his face. He does like it. Now, that big kangaroo was hungry for some sugar bag himself. He sat down next to the short arm kangaroo. Hey, what are you eating? He said. I'm eating sugar bag, said the short arm kangaroo. You've got long arms. You can reach right down and get some too. So that big kangaroo put his long arm deep into the hole and he pulled out a handful of spiders. <laughs> Do you think he liked that? <laughs> Try again, said the short arm kangaroo. Put your arm right down into that hole. That's where the sugar bag is. So the big kangaroo put his hand into the hole again. But he only pulled out more spiders. Mm. That short arm kangaroo kept reaching just inside the hole and pulling out more and more sugar bag with his little arms. Pretty soon, he'd eaten it all himself. And all the big kangaroo had got from deep down with his long arms were spiders. The big kangaroo was wild. That short-armed kangaroo had tricked him. He went over to a white gum tree and broke off a big stick. Well, the short-armed kangaroo thought he'd better get a stick too. And he went and broke one off a red bloodwood tree. And then... They started to fight. They hit each other over the head with those sticks until the big kangaroo ran away. Well, that short arm kangaroo threw his stick and it stuck right into the big kangaroo. That made the big kangaroo even more wild. So he turned around and threw his stick and it stuck right in the short arm kangaroo. Then they each hopped away back to their own country. The big kangaroo went back to the low country where the sugar grass grows and the short-armed kangaroo hopped away back to the hills. I'm a sugar grass country man now, said the big red plains kangaroo. I will live here forever. And I am a bolder country man, that short-armed kangaroo said. I will live in the hills amongst the boulders and the spinifex. And they are still there today. 
And when you see them, you'll know how they got their tails. And that's the end of the story. Did you like that one? How the kangaroos got their tails? They're good dream time stories and it's important for the people whose country they came from to remember them. Now they can pass the book down to their children. They don't have to remember it in their head. I've got some more stories. Come back and listen to the next one. Bye-bye.